Greetings. A lot of us are crazy on social media with comments on the election process, on the political parties and the candidates and everything up and down. Um, but it doesn't just end there. After making the comments, after making your point, after arguing, there is need for you to actually come out and vote. And we will be going out actually the next week, the next few days after this, we will be headed to the polls. And this is a clarion call for you to come out and vote. My name is Precious Call, and this is the Anchored Man right here on CTAM Church Online. A few days ago, I had a very interesting conversation with a friend of mine about the elections that are coming. And, and he was very passionate about his candidate of choice. And he kept on selling and convincing me. Um, I wouldn't say who it was. Um, but he kept on convincing me why that was the right person. Of course, I had a, a different idea and we talked and we talked and we talked for a lengthy period of time. And as we were about to finish our conversation, I just asked him, by the way, where will you be doing your, uh, where will you be voting once your vote station? And he actually doesn't even have a voter's card. That's actually crazy. And, and, and sometimes I wonder, um, um, it's unfortunate that we would be in that place. It's re regrettable, rather, that we would be in that place, that we'd be so caught up in this conversation and in selling ideas and in saying why this is the right person, yet we know deep down that on the day of the election, we will not even show up to make that choice. It is written or said somewhere that sometimes bad decisions are made when good people don't show up to make the decisions. Sometimes bad leaders come into office because good people have refused to exercise their right to participate on the table of decision making. On the 9th of August, all of us have an opportunity to participate in the decision making process of our country. If we'll be crying two years from now about the choices we made, then we'll be able to look back and say, yes, I'm actually experiencing, experiencing the consequences of my choice. It's much more regrettable for a person who does not come out to exercise that choice and now you have to live and endure the consequences of choices made by other people. My call to you today is please come out and vote. Come out and exercise your choice. God has given us an opportunity to participate. And those of us that are believers and Christians, we have the responsibility to not only pray about this process, to not only pray about our political leaders, but to actually show up on the material day and make those long queues and stay there and exercise choice. Why? Because sometimes that's how we are able to also align with whatever God is putting in our hearts concerning the leaders that we believe he is giving us for the season that is at hand. Here is a clarion call to you. Please come out and vote. Anchored men, please come out and vote. If you have to travel up country, please make prior travel arrangements. But I'm asking you to please make it a desire <laughs> that you will come out and vote so that we may all participate in shaping the next five years. Five years is a long time. You don't want to risk it. Five years can make you or can break you. You don't want to risk it by not participating in a very important process that actually determines the outcome and the quality of life that you will enjoy from that moment. Thank you for watching. I want to believe that you'll step out and vote. Tell your friends, tell your parents, tell your people around you, your colleagues at work, that we are going out to vote on August 9th so that we participate in shaping the destiny of our nation, Kenya. God bless you. See you again next time.